In Alberta alone, roughly 40,000 head of livestock are transported on highways in an average day. That number increases by several times when you include the highways across the rest of Canada and the U.S. In the past, communities were poorly prepared when livestock were involved in any kind of highway accidents. But the staff at Red Deer County decided it was time to plan ahead for this type of emergency, according to Agricultural Fieldman and Services Manager Art Prechuk. And uh, some of the incidents that have happened where uh, emergency responders have not had anything to work with. So uh, we hatched the idea of, of putting together a trailer. For the project, they chose a 22-foot-long Hallmark trailer. Prechuk says they had very little trouble attracting the necessary sponsorship money since everyone seemed to recognize that this type of initiative was needed. They had to engineer all the mountings and, and put everything together to, to outfit it. And, and we had to purchase all of the, the gear for it and figure out what gear we needed and what we could use and what would work. So it uh, hadn't been done before and there was no uh, plan to follow. Red Deer County Assistant Agricultural Services Manager Cody McIntosh says they stocked the trailer according to an inventory list provided by their livestock handling specialist. The most important thing on an emergency scene would be these panels. They're invaluable and a lot of time has been lost, people trying to round up panels. So with them being here in the unit, we could probably even use more of them. But the whole idea of the panels is to, uh, if you're opening up a a livestock trailer is to direct them into a containment area or actually make your own containment area. The last thing you want is animals running all over the highway and down the road. Wood chips and sawdust are kept in the trailer just in case there are wet spots at the accident scene because emergency workers don't want to be dealing with slippery areas in this type of situation. Hard hats, gloves, disposable coveralls, boots. Um, we get into a little bit of the tools you don't need much, it seems, to tear apart a cattle liner. They're mostly aluminum, so if you know what you're doing, a skill saw can do most of the work. Uh, first aid kit for the volunteers, there's some cordless power tools. Uh, one of the most important things is these incidents will happen at night, so uh, lighting is kind of a necessity and uh, to highlight some entrances and exits for uh, cattle to see their way out. Of course, for running power tools, you need a power source, which is provided by a portable generator. A ladder can be an extremely important tool in certain situations. Maybe getting access to the top of a trailer, um, something will be on its side and you may need to reach a latch or start your cut up high. Uh, we've got some secondary snow fence and that could maybe make ourselves a larger uh, containment area if we didn't have access to a pasture, uh, or a pasture or a field beside us. We do have some uh, pig boards and that's useful for shuffling pigs around, um, able to deflect them a little bit better, and rattle paddles to help uh, move along some cattle or any kind of livestock. McIntosh says one of their handiest tools is the horizontal e-track for hanging supplies and equipment along the trailer walls. Uh, we use that for mounting most of our system and uh, it works great. I would use it all over this trailer. I would, uh, you can buy different uh, ratchets to clip into it and different hooks and setups and it makes things interchangeable. Uh, we can put the, the panels on the other side if we like or, or however. So it's pretty good stuff and I would use more of it next time. Since the RCMP have control over most accident sites, they also determine when this trailer is to be utilized in an emergency situation. McIntosh estimates the total cost of the trailer and equipment in at around $40,000. He says it's been a very worthwhile investment, especially since it's already been called out to an accident involving livestock.